Cassie. Good afternoon, Grizzlies. Today is Wednesday, February 28th, and here are your hosts, Amalia and Zay. Good afternoon, Grizzlies. Welcome back to Gunderson Live. My name is Zay. And I'm Amalia. Now let's get to the news. It's the final week of February, and that can only mean one thing. The Pride pop-up shop is back. This Friday, March 1st at lunch, the Pride team will set up the pop-up shop in the plaza. So do whatever it takes to manifest Pride expectations, collect pot tickets, and redeem them at the pop-up shop this Friday at lunch in the plaza. See you there. Hey, you know what else is happening this week? No, what? Today in the forum during lunch, members of the Black Student Union will be hosting their first school-wide event, a fashion show in celebration of Black History Month. Please make your way to the forum and support your fellow Grizzlies by cheering them on as they walk down the runway. They will be sporting their best cultural fits and outfits that represent their authentic selves. You never know who may show up to participate. Hope to see you there. Are you craving a slice of pizza? Well, join us tonight for the Gunderson fundraiser at Pizza My Heart on 864 Blossom Hill Road. 30% of your purchase will be to donate Gunderson PCSA and will help us provide scholarships to outstanding graduation seniors in May 2024. Stop by, enjoy some pizza, salad, or anything else to eat or take in home. Just remember, mention Gunderson when you order your pizza to make sure they know we sent you over. See you there. Before break, we asked you to vote for your favorite beginning photo project. While the results are in, and last week's beginning photographer of the week winner for photo essay was Pedro Torres. You can see a portion of his essay on screen now. Congratulations, Pedro. This week, vote for your favorite beginning student selective editing photos. Students had to selectively edit their images using layer masking in Photoshop. Remember to sign on to your SGOSD account in order to vote. Grizzlies, the school needs your help. There are close to 800 textbooks from previous years, overdue calculators, missing and damaged tech, and overdue library books that aren't here for our use. So give them back. The total replacement cost for those items is almost $38,000, which will come out of your pocket. So let's get them to the Grizzly Center where they belong. Please don't shoot the messenger. If you're not sure what you owe, just follow along with this video. Roll it. Hello Grizzlies, Mrs. Van Ark here to show you how to check your book records. I need everyone to open your Chromebook and log into Clever. Textbooks need to be returned each year. We got behind on this due to the pandemic, but this spring we're getting caught up. Thanks if you're current with your checkouts. Still have books out? Don't know? Get them in before the end of March. As of April, fine statements will be sent home and there will be impact on activities. Again, do you know if you have any textbook or library fines? They have not. This presentation will show you how to check. Hopefully by now you're all logged on to your Chromebooks and logged into Clever. Click on the Fall at Destiny Discover app. You should see it there right on the screen. It's the front end to our library, our textbook records, and uh, a number of online research resources. Once you've logged in, you should see, confirm that you're logged in when you came from Clever. Go across and click on the My Stuff tab. Click on Checkouts and you'll see everything that you currently have out, both library books and textbooks. If you click on Finds, you'll see textbooks from previous years and overdue library books. And it will show you the fine amount. Please remember that when you return the books, the fines get cleared.
So did you discover that you have overdue library books or textbooks out from previous years? You may see you have books from your middle school. If so, get them in now. Stop by the library and put your books in the book return slot at my desk. If you have books from another San Jose Unified School, you can return these to me as well. I'll get them back to the right school. Got questions about what you're seeing on your records? Please come see me and I'll help you sort it all out. Looking ahead, by your last finals day in May, this year's books must be turned in. Seniors, the next few items are for you. Do you need help applying to your chosen community college? If so, you can now sign up to attend an application workshop, which will take place throughout March in the Grizzly Center during select GLC days. Starting next week, you will have the opportunity to apply to Foothill College on Tuesday, March 5th, or to San Jose City College on Thursday, March 7th. Following this, students interested in applying to De Anza College can attend their application workshop on Monday, March 11th, followed by West Valley College on Friday, March 15th. Finally, in the last week of March, we will have Evergreen Valley's application workshop on Monday, March 25th, and Mission College on Friday, March 29th. If you're interested in attending one of these application workshops, go to Instagram at DCAC underscore GHS and click on their bio link or scan the flyer QR code to attend or to register and receive a GLC pass to attend. Keep in mind that you should only apply to one local community college. Speaking of adult stuff, seniors, did you approve your senior photo that will be used in the yearbook? Well, if you didn't, today is the last chance to do that. If you do not, the yearbook class will decide which picture to use. Your teachers will email the list of senior students who have not approved their photos. So if you're on that list during GLC today, go to room D1 and pick your pick. And finally, if you have not applied for federal and state college financial aid yet, we are offering our final cash for college financial aid application workshop on Thursday, March 7th. College financial aid experts will be here to help. Drop-in hours are from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. in the Grizzly Center. Visit our College and Career Center Canvas course announcement section for more details on what to bring. In sports, we will be holding our Gunderson Athletics College Signing Day this Friday, March 1st at 1.30 p.m. in the Forum. We are excited to recognize seniors Owen Smith, committed to Loyola Chicago for volleyball, Kiara Anima, committed to San Jose State for soccer, and Brianna Bartek committed to Linfield University for softball. Come out and celebrate your Grizzlies this Friday during lunch. There's only one game on the docket today as our badminton team takes on Piedmont Hills at Piedmont Hills at 5 p.m. Well, that wraps it up for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube page at Gunderson Live and follow our Instagram at Gunderson underscore live. Have a great Leap Day, Grizzlies. We we'll will see, see you next time. time.